Hello Warbags, how you doing? Hope everything is good wherever you are. Deep into second lockdown, no one could have seen it coming. Literally nobody could have seen this coming. You'd have to be a genius. Um, ah, I'm wearing some glasses. They're cheap reading glasses, but the dog attacked them the other day and they hurt on my ears, but I can't find my other ones at the moment. So, ow! I'm being spiked in the ear. Ow! It's all part of the fun. Welcome to frame 117 of Me 1 vs Me 2 snooker, a continuing battle between myself and myself to find out which me is best at snooker. Very tight. I don't think we could have found, found two more evenly matched players in the world if we had tried. Um, I will just say that Schleckwim Treblini's uh, family have been in touch to say, although 40% of them would have liked the honour of the arena being named after them. Um, 60% are firmly against it. Uh, so we've moved on and uh, we are now named after... We just, we'll move on till, till we, we're like the littlest hobo. We'll carry on going from frame to frame until we find our home. And that's a reference that uh, most of you are not going to understand. Even the people who are old, as old as me. Maybe tomorrow. I'll learn to settle down. Until tomorrow, I'll just keep on using a new dead person as the name of the arena. And it's named after Harry Van Rahij or Hendrikus Jacobus Maria. Harry Van Rahij. I've only seen that uh, detail just recently. He's a Dutch Dutch functionary who served as chairman of PSV Eindhoven. Yeah, between 1996. You know who I'm talking about, between 1996 and 2004. And he did such a great job there that I'm sure he would be honoured even though one of his names is Maria. Um, just a slightly younger than my dad. That's a, that's a sobering thought. He's uh, 24 days younger than my dad. But my dad is still with us. Um, he was born in Haps, Netherlands, and he died. We don't know where. Just age 84. Not too bad, mate. Not not too bad a go, but do you stick in there, TK? Um, well, yeah, very exciting to be back. Um, I'm not yet in tournament mode. The Self-Playing Snooker Federation has been arguing over the um, format that any new tournament would take. Um, and as a few things have been coming up uh, on Tuesdays, um, I, we may start next week or we may just carry on with Me 1 versus Me 2. You know, it's the classic. It's what everyone wants. Um, a few people remember the littlest hobo in the uh, uh, this week uh, there is a rehearsal on Wednesday at 8pm with um, the wonderful not quite sure how to say his name we'll find out hopefully I'll find out uh, before um, it's Kiel I reckon is how you pronounce his first name. Anyone know? I mean, you're not going to be able to tell me because you can't talk to me. Um, and then it's... Let me just get so I can read it out properly. He's the guy who plays Kiel Smith Bino. I was going to... didn't know if it was Bino Smith or Smith Bino. That's probably how we say it. He is the um, husband in Ghosts. I think he's brilliant in that. I think they're a great couple. The living couple. Uh, he's in many other TV shows as well, and he looks like a good guy. So I'm looking forward to meeting him on Wednesday. Um, I'm actually going to have to start booking some new guests because I've got Rod Gilbert next week on the 25th. On Thursday, I'm doing the Chortle Book Festival, which I think you're able to join in and watch, um, which uh, goes out at 9 o'clock. Uh, don't, you can't come along and watch, but you can watch it online. Uh, I'll be doing Twitch of Fun on Friday. I think, and we may see a return of the writer's room. I just need to uh, sort that out. And increasingly having a few other little exciting ideas for Twitch of Fun. So do tune in now. Don't get left behind. Be one of the cool kids. Pronounce Keel as in Richard Keel, says Monkey Shaver. Okay, so you think it's Keel Smith Bino. I hope he's not watching. What about Bino? How do, you spell, how do I pronounce Bino? It could be Bino Noi. Um, seems like a good guy. Uh, he probably won't like me after all of this discussion of how to pronounce his name, but it's only polite to work, find that out, isn't it? Uh, Nell Scavell's Rahalastapa is out uh, on Wednesday. She's great. That was a really good fun one. 
and um, what else is going on? All sorts of stuff. Um, Moustache, that's still happening. Both Me 1 and Me 2 have shown solidarity and carried on growing their moustache as well, even though Me 2 hates Movember. Um, thank you, Pixfingers. It's pronounced by no. Thank you. Just reading it out. Um, if you would like to sponsor me for Movember, you can do that either by using your Amazon Prime to link to this to this ga Amazon Gaming and subscribe to this Twitch channel. Or all the money that we get from that will go to Movember this month. Or you can um, go to rahalastapa.co.uk slash Movember with a little M and just donate some money. If you think me growing a moustache is worth some cash. If you think this live stream is worth some money and you haven't paid for anything else, I'm very well aware that I've asked you to uh, cough up for lots and lots of different things. And I'm only really talking to the, not so much on the snooker, but in the Rahalastapa, the tens of thousands of people who've never given anything. Maybe give some money to charity. Who knows? Uh, Bob and Binks got their copy of Problem With Men today in the mail. Congratulations. If you buy it from GoFasterStripe.com, these are ones that have gone wrong. Well, sort of wrong. There, I'll give you. You get a signed um, thing with a penis drawn on it. That, that, that just not quite good enough. These I might send them out as prizes to someone. This is the book. It's doing pretty well. Everyone seems to like it on the whole, um, and uh, it's good. I think so. Uh, that's what I'm be talking about at the Chortle Book Festival, obviously on Thursday. Um, why don't we just crack on with some snooker? Would you say we break the habit of a lifetime? Don't crack on about. You can still get Christmas emergency questions if you. Uh, Donate ten pounds or for just a cop signed copy uh, at rahalastapa.co.uk slash scope. Um, Twenty five pounds if you would like a a copy with um, a, an emergency question in it. You can give anything you want. Give any amount of money. There it is. Uh, Nightbot has put that in for us very kindly. Thank you very much. Um, trying to donate stuff to charity this month. So all the thing I did with Al Murray, the thing that which was great yesterday, and the thing that I'm doing on Thursday. Uh, for sadly, a few gigs got cancelled, but uh, the money I was earning from those was all going to go to Refuge, I think. So, you know, just try and give a bit back if things are going okay. I'm looking at you, Ian Amazon. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Just play a bit of tax, mate. Yeah, I know I'm not allowed to criticise you on your own channel, but I am. You're a motherfucker, and you can suck my dick. Um, That's what I think about Ian Amazon. That's... That's taught him a sharp lesson. Let's see what's going on. Um, hopefully there's a few vaccines. I'm taking all the vaccines. I'm going to take so many vaccines that I actually catch the proper disease. But uh, that is how committed to vaccination I am. If you just catch a little bit of the disease every time you have a vaccine, right? So if you have 100 vaccines, that's just maths. That's just scientifics. And also... If you have all the vaccines, the bots in the vaccines fight each other and destroy each other. So you don't get tagged by uh, Bill Gates. So, you know, that's that's why I'm doing that. So look out for that. 95% uh, Moderna COVID vaccine. Uh, I'm waiting until it does 100% because I don't want to have, you know, I don't even want 5% COVID. I'm not going to go in there and go, oh, I've just got 5%. I want 100% or I want 0%. And that's what I'm going for. Um Ian Amazon's a girlfriend. <laughs> I think it might be a different Ian Amazon. Uh, had his, but well, though he probably does have a girlfriend now because he's not divorced. Uh, had a second vaccine job today. Good, good luck to her. Thank you for your service. Yeah, ninety percent plus ninety five percent. I'll have a hundred and eighty five percent right if I do both of them. So that's good enough for me. You're right. That's thank you very much to uh, Typewrote for pointing out the maths. Ah. Oh. So, oh, I've got chalk all down me. Uh, let's get on with the, the match, I think. I can't remember if there's anything else I'm supposed to be doing in this. Uh, we we may get back to a tournament next week. We'll see. What do you think? What do you think in the chat room? Would you rather have me one versus me two, or would you rather have uh, some complicated, long-running tournament to keep you through? You know, what could be a very short... We could be out. If we, all get, we could get the vaccine tomorrow, we could be out the next day. Yeah, we like the people talking to, yeah, sit down, Jim wants me 13, sit down, Jim got a message from me 13 as part of his uh, Kickstarter award. He thanked me for that, well, thanked me 13 for that day. I'm not talking to me 13 at the moment, Jim, so I haven't been able to pass that on. We've had a bit of a falling out. Complicated, long running, 128 players. Yeah, we'll see. 
I think if we that's what I've you know that's what I think I think we need to bring me 33 and me 34 back and that means bringing in some more me's or having uh, a few knockout we could have an amateur level to try and get through to the finals couldn't we could we could we do that we'll see all right maybe from next week when I'll we'll see how we go me seven uh, the alley fan one of the all-time successful players I believe he got to the semi-finals at all three tournaments didn't win any of them. I don't think he got to the final of any of them either. So um, there we go. Uh, do keep subscribing. Do go to rahalasabha.co.uk slash Movember. I've carried on for ages even though I said I wouldn't. Let's meet the players. See how they feel things went last week. The winner last week, of course, was Me Too. Taken back into a one-frame lead. It's gone three frames, three frames, three frames, I think, hasn't it? The last ten frames have been... One frame to me two, three frames to me one, three frames to me two, three frames to me one, and maybe maybe three frames to me two again. It's 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 been extraordinary, um, and some I mean just some extraordinary play, and I'm hoping today will be as exciting. Let's see, me two is just sitting down. He's wearing the old back to front Rahulastav t-shirt that's made him famous. Here he is. Hi there, Richard. Good to be back. Thank you very much. Uh, not happy about the moustache, but. Um, I'm going to give all the money I raise from November uh, to the poor children, so uh, and only female children, because I do not believe men should be equal. I believe men should remain inferior. I think society is sexist. It's sexist against men. Yeah, but I've heard people say that. That's not that clever a thing to say. Uh, and uh, how do you feel it went last week? Do you remember much about the frame? Don't remember. Fuck all about it, Richard, to be honest. It could have been a lifetime ago. been very tired this week, as I believe you have. Apparently, I won 77.52. Couldn't tell you a fucking thing about it, so don't even ask me. I'm not interested in the past, Richard. I am interested in the near future and then the far future. The far future where I win this tournament a, a million frames to 54 currently 54 55 in my favor um i'm not looking forward to the i'm not having the vaccine rich um i'm not taking it i won't have it in my body my my body i don't see how injecting a small amount of the thing into you can save you and if, if science says that that is a thing then i disagree with science well that's pretty crazy me too because you know i think smallpox um, I mean, I mean, I could just list a thousand illnesses. I, I can't think of a single other one, but um, you could, you know, these things have been cured by vaccines. So, nope, won't have it, Rich. And I'm not having it in my body. My body is a temple. I just put in drugs and fine whiskey. That's all that goes in there, and occasionally a man's penis. I didn't know that. That's sort of quite a revelation. It's my own penis. I can loop it round underneath my uh, perineum and then sort of sit on it you're not doing it now are you i'm just demonstrating now how that's how it would work okay uh we don't need any more of that let's get he can't do that believe me if he could do that he would not be here um let's i can see me one's just getting into the seat let's see what his plan is for today's i mean it's they haven't really come up with m many plans beyond just saying well, i'm going to win today but let's see let's see what's going on me one is sitting down now hi richard yeah great to be back um hoping i can break the curse of winning three losing three winning three losing three uh by winning one today and um i'm very proud to be supporting november i actually think society is sexist against women i'm very different to me one me two i am me one sorry uh and um i believe that it's quite a good idea to, for men to be feminist because then girls might have sex with them. So, yeah, that's not really that's not really it either. Um, so, um, it's good that you're, you're supporting a, a good charity. So, um, well, I believe women should be treated as if they're equal, Richard, and that is that is just my belief. Um, so, if that's offensive to anyone, I'm sorry. I'm a new man. New labour, new man, new danger, all of it. So, uh, just saying to any ladies, if my wife sadly dies, come over, sit on this face. That's right, I'll be giving you oral sex. I mean, probably one, one in ten. One in ten times. 
but that's kind of I'm a new man. That's the kind of guy I do. Um, do an equal share of the washing up duties. I do the bins. I do all the bins. So uh, me one weirdly. Uh, I hope me one isn't planning to murder his family. He seems to be um, flirt flirting a uh, little there with the. With the crowds, I, why don't we just get on with the the snooker? Let the snooker do the talking, and uh, get this unpleasantness over. It's fifteen minutes already. Everyone should be in by now. Under two hundred viewers. Disappointing. Um, but maybe if we bring the tournaments back. Maybe that will will be back to the old magical, just over two hundred. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to hand over to Commentator 1, Commentator 2. We haven't seen much of Commentator 2 recently in the um, Harry Van Rahij Arena commentary box. Buy the problem, men. Get a signed book, plate and badge from gofasterstripe.com. Get a badge as well. Didn't mention that today. And Chris Evans makes the money, not Ian Amazon. I don't make anything from those. I've signed all that stuff. I'm not even getting paid for that. I just did that for Chris Evans. What does he do for me? What has he ever fucking... What has that prick ever done for me? The laziest, most incompetent man I've ever worked with. I guess he's done a couple of things for me. I guess he's helped me out a little bit. Over to commentator one, commentator two. In the Harry Van Rahij. Sorry to break that news to you that he's died. Arena. Hello, Richard. Great to be back. Um, well, I hope uh, today's match will prove the, to be the vaccine for boredom. It's a little. Uh, I didn't even pre-prepare that. I just came up with that from the news. Uh, today it is me one's turn to break. Let's see how he can do. Can he pot straight from the off? He's gone in off. Gone in off straight from the off. Um, did a red go down as well? It did not. So that's four points to me too. It's a good start for me too. In his quest to win another three in a row before then losing three in a row. Here he comes, me too. How we, which Me Too are we getting today? Is he the cocky, confident one? Oh, I think he is. That was beautiful. Nearly got onto the black as well. I don't think he can get this black in, but he's going to go for it. Oh, my stars. I, sh I should trust Me Too more than I do. That was a beautiful shot. I didn't think that was actually possible through physics, but it was. And Me Too. Ooh. Well, I felt like he was going to clear the whole thing there with a maximum break, but it was in the end, it was just a break of eight. Calculating, calculating, me one, zero. Calculating, me two, calculating, calculating, calculating. Twelve, me two, twelve nil up after one visit to the table. What's me one going to do? That is not good enough for me one. Though he's nicely, he's not quite touching either. Me two can't do much with this. That's... About the best he could do, but unfortunately, I think he's set up me one. Here comes me one. He's hungry for some points. And oh, a little bit of luck there. The ball, unless it was a very skillful shot, the ball flies around the table, the snooker board, sorry, and goes in the center pocket. He's going for the pink. And I don't know if he was trying to double that or what, but he's off the mark. He's got a break of one. That's his highest break of this frame. I wonder if it'll be the highest break of the frame for him by the end of the frame. Me too, of course, on a break of eight. He's got a bridge over the yellow. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky from me too. Me one has his work cut out here. Oh, tries to do a plant, I think, and fails. Me too. Nothing going on there. The high tempo, high octane start. Me one misses. Me too. Can he get this? Of course he can. No, he's not on the black though. Gonna have to come down the snooker board. He's going for the blue. And that wasn't good at all. But still, 13 plays one. I can do the maths when it's just one. Me, t me one. Oh, oh. Not play. He's very loose today. Me too has seen the more assured, certainly from that black. That was, oh no. Neither player on top form, I don't think. Me one. Can he steady the ship? There we go, that's what he wanted, that's what he needed. And that's what he's got. He can't get that black, he's insane if he goes for the black. He hasn't got it, but he's got a point. 
It's his equal highest break of the frame, one point. Me too. Still break of eight. Oh, and that was a great shot. Um, some might say, oh, can't get to the pink, unfortunately. It's going for the brown. And misses. Well, it's very slow scoring. Cagley tink, cagley tink. Me one, two. Me two, 14. But me one must be eyeing up that pink. Oh, he's missed. Nearly goes in off. Luckily gets a lucky bounce off the pocket. Me too. We'll have to double this one if he wants to score a point. He's failed. Oh dear. This is the kind of chance me one eats up for breakfast, lunch and dinner. He's got to come in slightly left-handed. Oh, he's hit it too softly. Me too. He touched the blue. And referee one spotted it. That's five points to me one. Often that gets missed by the referee. And me one has another shot at this. And he gets it this time. Did he do that on purpose, knowing you would get five points? It's hard to know, isn't it? He's going to go for the black. Controversial. But oh, what a what! I think he's thinking ahead. But what a shot! And suddenly, me one is not only back in this, but I think might be in the lead. If he can get this, he could get a four ball break here. Oh, well, um, he got set. He got eight. He has got, I think he's in the lead. Gaggly dink, gaggly dink, me one, 15, me two, 14. So me two. I thought he had an unassailable lead. But he's going to have to watch out again. Bridge over the... He's still at this time. Me one. Can he pop this in through the letterbox? He cannot, but he's cleverly put the ball right up the, the board there. Me two. A bit worried now. Oh, 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 banged his head. He didn't need to worry. And he seems to have got away with that. I don't know whether he was still touching that cue ball when it came back, but uh, it would be a churlish referee who didn't let him have that. It was a nice shot. So seven, some high breaks coming in today. Can he make it eight? No, but seven points. So me too. They're leapfrogging each other like a pair of giddy schoolboys. Calculating, calculating, me one, 15, me two, 21. And me one at the Oki. Oh, too acute on that. Me two. Not good play today, I have to say. Me one. Oh, uh, me one, referee one is very sharp. Me one touched the blue. And maybe that's fair. Me two gets five points. This is the true score. Calculating, calculating. Me one, 15. Me two, 26. So they've both made the same error touching that blue with their human hands. And me two. Oh, oh, oh. Ee. Oh, for those of you in audio. I can't really describe what happened there. Me one. Watch on video while you're listening in the audio. Me one misses. It's a weak, weak game. Me two. Weak, weak play. Here comes me one. He's trailing. He's winking at it. Oh, oh. Me one has potted the green and that is the last thing he wanted to do. He wanted to pot. Well, probably part point in the black is the last thing you want to do in both senses. But four points to me too. And is he running away with this? Calculating, calculating, me one, 15, me two. Calculating, 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 30. Literally double the points. Here comes me too. Oh, he hit it hard. Oh, what a buffoon. What a fucking buffoon. He gives away five points and this could be terrible because... The cue ball is in a clump of colours. They now all serve as being red. Uh, and if me one plays this well, yes. He's left me two in a quandary here. Me two can just, I think, get off there. Oh, he's missed everything. Oh, no. oh he's hit it on the rebound. Have four cushions there, I think. Certainly three, but me one. 
This is it, me one is back in this. The blue is gettable. So not only get gettable, he's got it. It's a break of six, another incredible high break. This is, uh, he can't get any higher, I don't think. Oh, no, he can't. Six points to me one. <sighs> Have you ever seen anything or listened to anything as exciting as this? <clears throat> it's 26, plays 30. Me two. I've been on 30 for a while. Oh, just that jingled and jangled in the pocket. Like Boris Johnson finding out he's got COVID again and going, ah, oh, what the fuck? Me one. Oh, should have got that. Me one should should have got that. That could have been game over. But this could be game over now. There could be a clearance here. Me two pots the red like a professional self-playing snookerist, which he is. And he's definitely on for a free ball break here. He gets the pink. And look at that positioning. So finally, we're seeing something akin to professional play here. Break of seven. Make that a break of eight. And can he get the black? I think that's what he's going for, centre pocket. He's got it, you know. And he's not far off being on the yellow. He's just, has this been a deliberate ploy to look like he couldn't play snooker? Oh! He got it, he got the yellow. Now, is he gonna try and double the green or put the green? Let's just work out what he's got. He's got 15, 16, 17, and nine, a break of 19. The brown is a long way away. He's going to try and double this. Oh, and a bit unlucky there. He scores 19. Unfortunately, the green ball nudges the cue ball into the pocket. It's 30, plays 49 though. There's 29 in it. Is that right? 30 plays 49, no 19 in it. There's a dog barking, that's not our dog, right? Me one put off by the dog barking. Yeah, and the dog barking is, ooh. Me two, doesn't need to do much now to win and that's beautiful, he's played for safety and in what safety? What kind of safety? Me one, gets out of it. But, oh, I think he's got away with that. Me too. Tries to double it in, fails. Me one. Can definitely not get this one in. Oh, well, why do I ever say that? Does an amazing double into the centre pocket. Didn't seem possible. Surely won't risk this. Oh, what a fucking idiot. That was obviously going to happen. So me one gets three but gives away four. He's got it off. It's 33, place 53. I don't know why I'm not letting Robot Voice do this for you. Me too. Oh, be superb safety play from me too. It's another snooker, me one. Doesn't even seem to look. Misses the brown by a hair's breadth. Four more points to me too. Surely this is over now. Me too. Can he pop this brown? That would make it pretty close to being over. Oh, just misses it. What do you think, commentator two? Who do you think is going to win? I think me two is going to win. Thank you, commentator two. Me one. Me one actually needs a snooker. I don't think he realised that when he was playing that shot, but luckily he missed. Me two. Oh, that was bad. Me one. Is he trying to pot it still? I don't know what he's doing. Me too. Oh! Oh! Missed both times. <laughs> the curvature of the board did for me too. There, he's given away a, an absolutely unforced error, which gives me one the chance to win this if he pots all four balls, which we've seen a few times. Me too. Oh, me too's potted the blue. It's all gone pear shaped for me too. It looked all over. Calculating, calculating, me one, 42. Calculating, me two. Calculating, 57. There's only 15 points between these two now. 22 on the table, me one. Oh, it, it's a comedy of errors. 
Still me one can do it. Me one has gone in off. Me one has 42, me two has 61. Oh, how did he miss that? Me one, has he been snookered? Oh, me one. You fucking idiot. Hits the black. Eight points, seven points to me too. 68 plays 42. Surely it's over now. Me too. He's going to get a two frame lead. It's all over, I think, but me one is not going to capitulate. Calculating, calculating, me one, 42, me two, 72. There's 30 points in at 18 on the table. Me one. Well, look, when a player can just miss a ball altogether. Oh. <laughs> it's worth carrying on, but this is going to be a route. Me one has just potted the black instead of the blue. Can me two finish this off with a break at 18? Oh, ooh. That went in, came out, hit the cue ball, went in again. That was an incredible shot. This could be 18 second ice break of the of the of the frame if he does it. Oh, this might have gone a little bit too far for the black, but me too is definitely one. It's going to be a handsome victory. He's got a break of 18. He's done it. Me too ends up with an incredible 97 to 42. I think that's right. 42.97, that is one of the all-time victories, surely. We'll have to look back through the records for that. That was a beautifully judged break of 18 at the end there to add to the break of 19. Some high-scoring stuff going on in these frames now. It's 54.56. How do you feel that went commentator to? It's the same as usual. It's a bloke playing snooker against himself and um, he isn't really that good, but he's got slightly better, I have to admit in the 11 years he's been doing this. Um, the scoreboard goes up to 119, so there was still some room left on the scoreboard, but not much, not much, my fine friends. Um, there's no Donald Trump here. Me Too is the winner. No one can claim anything else. Back to Richard Herring in the studio. Thank you very much. Um, just gonna have a sip of uh, peppermint tea. Mmm, tea pigs. Oh, I should have been sponsored by someone, shouldn't I? Should I do it next week? Should I do it now? Doesn't seem fair, does it? Um, this, I will do it now and I might do it next week as well. Because uh, there's only one more to go. This uh, frame snooker is sponsored by Kevin Franklin. Um, and he's just a bloke, I think. He gave a Christmas message to his uh, friends um, who live in Holmfirth. And he just wanted his name on here. So Kevin Franklin, thank you very much for your sponsorship. Sorry I didn't mention it at the top, but I'll put you in the blurb. Um, your support is greatly appreciated. And what a frame to have sponsored. One of the highest scores we've had as far as records go back. I'd need to, some kind of snooker statistician to, um, to confirm that. 55 points, the difference. I mean, let's have a little look at the... I know the, the web page does uh, mention the biggest difference in score. Let's see if we get there. Put me one in. It's the first thing that comes up. That's the power of self-playing snooker. Um, largest frame of big pitch, 69 and 63, so nowhere near. Um, I don't know what those the high scores were, but still pretty good. So, uh, I think 97 might be the highest score we've ever had. I don't think we've ever gone over 100. I think I'd remember that. So that's something. That's something for the record books. And a break, break of 19 and a break of 18 for me too. I'll write that in. I'm, gonna write, I'm writing it in now. The 18, not quite as impressive, but, you know, we weren't getting... We've had several uh, breaks in the 20s recently and we weren't getting anything in the high teens before this is incredible um 
Let's talk to the players. Let's first of all talk to the losing player, me one. Must be getting used to losing three in a row because uh, that seems to be what he's doing. He's just sitting down now. Uh, thanks, Richard. Um, um, I just want to say, I don't know what happened there. That It felt like there was a point with three balls to go where I was in with a chance of winning. I don't understand how it got away from me. I could have come back four balls, 22. I was not, like 19 behind. Um, and suddenly I end up like 50 odd points behind. It just doesn't seem to add up. I'm going to ask for a recount. Uh, and I'm not conceding victory until uh, that that frames have been rewatched and just checked you didn't give me two loads of my points. Uh, don't get into that. Don't be a dick. I mean, not just the the dick of someone who pretends they haven't lost when they've lost, but also who parodies the Donald Trump thing. Yeah, you're better than that, me one. Um, do you think you can come back next week stronger and better? I think so, yeah, I think I'll win next week. If we do it next week. Yeah, well, if it's the tournament, I, I will remind you I'm the reigning elite champion, so it doesn't really matter what happens in this tuppenny halfpenny tournament, does it, when I'm the elite champion of all the foot snooker players. Fame. That's all I've got to say. Well, I think you two must have an advantage when the tournament comes up, up because you have been playing consistently over the last few weeks and definitely reached another level. So I uh, wish you luck if there is a tournament next week. Uh, thank you to Kevin Franklin for sponsoring the podcast. Let's. Uh, me too. Just sitting down right now. Here he comes. Thanks, Rich. Thanks, Rat fans. Um, another comfortable win for old Me Too. The second of the two Me's playing the old self playing snooker. Uh, if that, if we're going to break in Me One versus Me Two for a few weeks, it's good because two point two frames clear. Every chance a Rich Herring could get COVID and die. I mean, I'm not hoping that will happen, but if it does, I've won, right? So every cloud has a silver lining. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'd be disappointed not to come back and make it three frames and then just break the curse and make it four frames and then so on till it's an infinity frames ahead. Uh, but that's for all the kids in the hospital. It's not for the Movember guys. I would say if you get cancer of the genitals, it's too embarrassing. Just don't mention it. That's what I would say. I would very much um, like to say I disagree with me too about that. Um, one of the wonderful things about Movember is uh, it's trying to help people, men, uh, with uh, testicular and prostate cancer and also anyone depressed, suicide prevention. Um, so please don't listen to me too. Please do go to rahelisper.co.uk slash Movember. Because uh, I have to have this on my face all the time. I mean, you know, I know I've had a worse moustache on my face all the time and I didn't ask for any money for that directly. Um, but um, be nice if you would sponsor that. We've got a, like a couple hundred quid in there, and there'll be a few. There'll be a bit more coming in from. If you're a badger, you're giving your badger money's going to uh, that this month. And if you're a monthly subscriber on Twitch or Amazon Gaming or whatever the fuck it's called now, um, I'm not growing my nose hair. I don't I'd like to pull that out. I like to pull that out. That's one of my many pleasures in life. I'm not going to do it live on camera maybe on only fans um yeah let's wrap it up it's been a, it's been a good solid show good game good game let's have a look at the old scoreboard 54 56 um we will see what we're doing next week and it may be a tournament it may be a me one versus me two snooker it depends how bored i get how much time I've got? Uh, still haven't received. Ali fans still haven't received my signed EQ book. I definitely sent that to you. So um, I sent it in. Uh, I'm pretty sure I sent you a br b big blue parcel with. Uh, I think if it's who, if you're who I think I am, and you are rather. You're not who you think I am. If I, you're who I think you are, then you should be getting some t-shirts and stuff as well, Ali fans. So if that doesn't turn up, let me know, and I will resend um but i sent it a long time ago so it should be that you're in ireland right you are who i think you was yeah uh good well look we, we can maintain this you know i have email and stuff you can just email me we don't have to bother everyone else on this thank you to kevin franklin for sponsoring this podcast thanks to me one and me two uh referee one and commentator one commentator two 
And most of all, thanks to you for watching and or listening. We'll be back on Wednesday with Rahula Stapa, with Kiel smith Bino, and um, also Nell Scavell will be the one that's coming out that day, and Ali and Herring's Switch of Fun on Friday this week. Don't forget. It was a good game, wasn't it? It was a good frame. All right. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye.